This week on Brew News, hipsters cry PBR tears as their favorite brewery goes out of business. Schwasty Man Baby channels Evil Knievel on Drunk People Doing Things. And I'm nuts about this beer made with actual five pound bull balls. Cheers. And I'm Poppy Barlow. This is Brew News, voted most newsy by guys named Jim. Shout out to Jim. Our lead story today begins with three simple questions. Do you have a monthly subscription to beard oil? Do you consider bed linens outerwear? And do you even barista bro? If so, then prepare your eyes to cry PBR tears because Pabst Blue Ribbon might be going out of business. Miller Coors, the contract company that brews and packages PBR products, is threatened to cancel its contract, which expires in 2020. Coors says Pabst, in typical hipster style, is too cheap to pay the necessary costs. Pabst says, let's have a latte and hug this one out, bro. This just in, news and bones are breaking on Instagram's drunk people doing things. Cut to the video, Lawson. Have you ever shotgun the beers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> shotgun fail. What's a little heart? She's like, why is it anything coming out? She's like, I thought I was doing it right. I never got three sets. All right, this is a good one here. I love this one. This is the evil Knievel? Yeah. Schwasty bro? This is the Schwasty man, baby. <laughs> Channeling evil Knievel. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. When he got air, wait, let's yeah. watch it and again. And it's so ridiculous that you probably just missed, as I did the first time, the fact that he's not wearing pants. Oh, he, at all? No, he, he's got, he's <laughs> just, he just has his underwear. <laughs> Here's the one I thought you would appreciate. Okay. This is the one I thought yeah. you'd really connect with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You've been there. Love is love, there. honestly. This yeah. is like relationship goals. Yeah. All I want is a man who's gonna like fall asleep on top of me riding home on the subway and yeah. dump his cheap beer all over my like, oh, shirt. Yeah. Are you out there, dream man? <laughs> nice. All right, last one. Last one. Oh, okay, that was so good. Oh my God, that's like, whoever did that deserves a Grammy. Or a, some kind of award. Oh, too good. <laughs> <laughs> they come in so stealthy like right. he's like Boop. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's actually that might be my favorite one, just the timing oh, of it. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Yeah, if we could do this okay, all day. This is this is a serious program. Let's, this is serious. let's get back to more uh, more of the news. But before that, let's drink some beers. Okay, sounds great. Is it time for the probably time for more drinking. Yeah. I mean, it is. It is. Bam. <clears throat> this next segment is dedicated to. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good timing, right? Yeah, that's pretty I good. I didn't even mean to Lighten do that. Lighten up the mood a little bit. Sorry. For this serious topic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you want to start over? No. This next segment is dedicated to Dave Pickerel, the um, mastermind, no, the former master distiller at uh, Maker's Mark, also at Vermont's Whistle Pig um, Distillery, makers of this 10-year-old uh, straight rye whiskey. Um, he passed away recently at San Francisco's Whiskey Fest, so we thought we'd drink some Whistle Pig in his honor. Sounds good. Yep. Honoring a legend. Honoring a legend. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that's really mm. good. Ooh, yeah. I'll put a little bit more in there. Uh, finish this first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you have to pick up the one? Do you actually have to? No, I don't have to. Oh. I do not have to pick my son up from the <laughs> I'm like, what time are you picking up your kid? <laughs> are people going to be offended that we put ice in our whiskey? There's a uh, there's a naysayer in every goddamn bunch. Mm. And, um, Lots of naysayers on the claw hammer. YouTube tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to like the 200 people that like the last free news, thanks. You're awesome. To the three guys that gave it a thumbs down, <laughs> you. I'm coming to find you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> You're not paying for this. You're not paying for any of this. We're up here yeah. pouring our hearts out yeah. on this. this table for you. Does this look easy? Does this look like it's easy? I mean, we make Does it, it seem like we live an easy life here? We make it look easy, I'm sure. What? 
<laughs> last story, last story. The false. Take it, Rachel. Finally on Brew News, are you nuts about beer? Do you eat nuts with beer? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Then you may be interested to know that Planters Peanuts is brewing a new IPA. Also, in even weirder news, Colorado's Wincoop Brewery said, hold my beer, and brewed up a stout using Rocky Mountain Oysters, otherwise known as Bull Balls. The brewery claims to brew the ballsiest canned beer in the world. They describe the beer as having luscious mouthfeel and deep flavors of chocolate, espresso, and nuts. <clears throat> what do you think, would you try that beer? No, I would not. I would not either. <laughs> yeah, you have two beers in front of you. One is one is brewed with Vagine yeast from the. Okay. Check out the last episode of Brew News. From to the figure Polish out what that is. Yeah. The other one is a uh, uh, bull ball uh, stout. Which one do you choose? You know, I think I'm gonna go with the bull balls. I would choose the Vagine yeast. Really? Yeah. That just shows 100%. the difference between men and women. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> these segments were brought to you by the generous support of Claw Hammer Supply, who makes these nifty apple and peach pie moonshine spice kits. Perfect for getting your nana shwasty over the holidays. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Make sure to subscribe to the Claw Hammer Supply YouTube channel so you'll get notifications whenever we post another amazing brew news video. <laughs> Love you, Jim. <laughs>